Jennifer, I'm gonna need you to teach me the ways of the punk. I'm sorry, it's just the way it has to be. Ooh, that looks like it goes into some discreet hidden lair. Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? And... Let's... I'm not gonna go with that. I'm not gonna... I'm definitely not gonna go with that, but we also have... I have a plan to fix Hill Valley. Yeah, that sounds like it's a good idea to talk to her about. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Hmm... Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Can I borrow some paint? This'll definitely come Give in handy. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a <laughs> watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Love the Bob Ross, uh, Bob Ross reference there. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Ouch. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. Yeah, that's kind of true. I can't argue with that at all. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Spazzy McSpaz Spaz. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your- No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Yep. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, kinda yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Uh... I feel like this is a really awkward question to ask her. I don't know why, but you're supposed to be broken up. Um, we'll try that last. We'll go with this first. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. Interesting. A dangerous animal? Okay. Um, like, like what? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Say what now? Oh, lighten up. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest! That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. Let's not, and say we did. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Ah, uh, damn it. I was, for a second, I really thought she was going to go for the PDA thing as well, and I was thinking to myself, go figure, it's the last one I choose that she goes for. The one that I think is least likely to work. But no, yeah, you're, you're not a fan of that idea. Unless we somehow romanced you, which uh, I don't think you're capable of, McFly. No offense. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You wanna see Citizen Brown too? Yeah! Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. 
I'm really liking all of the references she gives. She's done quite a few so far. Um, okay. Maybe this one and then we'll move on. What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, barf? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I need some popcorn. Wait, hold on, let me get some popcorn. You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. All right. Your pants right. starting to streak. Ah. Sounds like a personal challenge. That junk looks awfully familiar. 50 years familiar. You mean it's basically been here this entire time? I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Oh, trust me, you are going to have to. Not interested. Alright, fine, just give me a wider... Ooh, I told you it was an ammo box, guys. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Go figure, can we pickpocket her? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oop. Let's see, what's around here? Door. Can we that leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. We can probably tell him... I don't really want to rat on Jennifer, though, but we can probably tell him about Leech and the... Whoosh bags. <laughs> um, actually, I mean, Leech, same person. He's probably... he's probably okay with us telling him. Look out, son! Mom? Hold on, hold on, I ah, uh, no, I can't tell, yes, no, that's a sign. We're basically just going from conversation to conversation right now, I really want to, I want to advance the plot. Sure, it's really cool exploring a brand new timeline, especially alternate timelines, where are we going? I can't get around this lamp, uh, this, 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 the brain, the brain is not working, my brain is not working. I can't get around the street light, that's it, I was going to call it a lamppost, but it's not what it is. Um, oh, there you are, that's why. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? No. Mom, I can't I heard be you. shouting. Martin, are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? I know, Sorry, that's not very I just nice. Don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. What do you mean? You guys used to be really happy together. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll okay. be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Yep. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. 
Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm, okay. Well, at the very least, everything seems pretty straightforward. We go from A to B to C to D with a little bit of talking in the middle. Um, but I don't well, know. Well, it's I... not the truck, but I guess it'll do. It feels like we're leaving a lot of things unfinished. We haven't gone in to see Citizen Brown. I know that's the end goal. We haven't finished with Jennifer. And I really feel like there's more we need to get out of Biff. Maybe it's because I just really want to make him puke some more. Ah, uh, creepy. Isn't this illegal? What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? Shh. What if Citizen Brown's watching? Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> Dad, that's not Try changed much, has it? And the next time, okay? So basically, you haven't changed a thing. He never became an acclaimed author. It's like you never arrived back in whatever time it was in Back to the Future One. Oh my! Everything's ruined. Everything is absolutely ruined. Ooh. Excuse me, one moment. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Oh, you did not. Come on, Dad, I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Marty, play some Johnny Be Good. Play some Johnny Be Good. Um... Ooh, I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like this is one of those pivotal moments where we can only choose one. I say pivotal, it's probably not going to impact that much. A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little Helly and she's nothing but trouble? Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further away. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Hey, it worked in the end, and that's all I care about. Oh, sweet. Did we pick it up in our inventory? Yes. Let's see what else have we got. We got the timesheet. Um, this. Not much else. Interesting. I wonder what would happen if we showed that to him. I'm going to do it. Another day in Hill Valley. The perfect... I don't think they'd be interested in a picture of my dad. Dad, you don't know. It's an alternate timeline. He's never going to remember. Floppy disk? I'm being nosy. I'm being just as bad as he is, really. Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Is it just me, or is this the reference episode? In one, I don't remember any references. In two, we definitely had a reference or two. And this time, we've had at least five. At least five that I can count off the top of my head. If you can name them, I will be really impressed. Actually, you know what? You guys are all geeks. I know you're all geeks. You're watching a Back to the Future Let's Play. You're gonna name all of them. So, you know, it's, it's kind of just part of the course. I would, I would high-five you. W-O-P-R. A whopper. <laughs> I wonder what that stands for. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. What kind of footage? Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? Yes! 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Yes? Oh no, she's back on the booze! Damn it! Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, 
I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Nobody likes your constant I supervision. She's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. I have got a look of shock on my face. Really, man? Really? What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Dude, Dude what have you been watching? Under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. Again, sarcasm. 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 Which is the most me, though? Because all of these are me. I just don't know which is the most. No way. No way. Yeah. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many not. citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Like the old one? <laughs> You're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%. Maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. I'll do it. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. All right, well, it sounds like we've got our next task, ladies and gentlemen. Find a way to distract dear old dad here. And... Somehow get that tape. Where did he hide it, though? Is it that? Is it that right on the desk? Um, okay. There we go. What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. Okay, so it does sound like the real Marty of this timeline is actually out of town, but that, that, that still doesn't explain why Doc disappeared. I don't understand. Is it because Marty was driving or something? Maybe because Doc was already flashing in and out of existence? I'm really curious about this. It's so bizarre. Um, it's about someone we both know. Yes? Tell me about... My brother and sister. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Really, sir? What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? 
Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Probably more. Let's be honest, we all know Edna very much, and she's a horrible, horrible human being. And I can't wait until we change history back to the way it should be. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service, and maybe let me shake his hand. I'm still baffled by you, sir. Hmm. Something on your mind? I just... I, how have your priorities changed so much? How are you okay with all of this? I mean, I knew you were a square before we intervened, it, Marty intervened in the first movie, but still, you're better than this. Oh, come on, I wanna, there we go. So, uh, when is this dust my problem gonna be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh, where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. Really? That's the part that made it official for you? How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. 